What is up guys and welcome to my updated Light Sworn deck profile. Now, uh, White Sworns are still a very interesting deck. I mean, it's all about RNG. You mill, if you mill good, you're gonna go off and combo like crazy. If you don't, well, you're just gonna cry and be basically lose the game. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now, first and foremost, as you see already, we're gonna get right out of the way. Judgment Dragon, I mean, it's searchable, he's cool. Uh, and it wouldn't be Light Swarms without Judgment Dragon, so you kind of have to run at least one Judgment Dragon, really. Like, like sorry for the glare, but yeah. One Judgment Dragon. Insane. Next. Of course, we have the three Lumina. Of course, Lumina is, like, your main, like, extender in a way. Like, it's, it's not as good a starter as Raiden uh, is, but honestly, Lumina is just as good. Uh, then, of course, our main starter, Raiden, he just starts your mills, gets uh, combos, and he if he mills the right things, you know, you just go off and go crazy from there. Uh, the best slash worst card in the deck, of course, is the Wolf. Wolf is ass, like, it's a draw, but if you mill it, it's just insanely, uh, insanely good. So, yeah, we have the definitely three Wolf. Uh, our last few uh, Life Swords, we do t run two of the, uh, say, Twilight Sworn Lumina. It extends from your Vanish Piles, so that's always good. So it helps go into your Living and Air combos and just extends for uh, basically super game. Like, this, this thing is absolutely insane. So definitely love the Lumina. Then, of course, we have one, the one Felis and the one Baby Minerva to get the additional mill. And this is a free summon off the Monster Effect mill. So, yeah, that is it for our Life Swarm lineup. We're going to move on into the Chaos Package. Next, for our Chaos stuff, of course, we have a three, uh, not three, but two Chaos Levy in there. Insane card. It can rip a card out of your opponent's hand, so it takes their starting hand from six to five. Uh, just overall insane card. If you run if you run away to summon it or a Chaos Fairy, you always have to run at least one or two of it. Uh, two Chaos Creator, insane card. Allows you to bring back your Banished Monsters as well. Also, it's level eight, so again, it helps with your level, uh, I see your rank eight exceeds. Uh, black and White Dragon, of course. This is your generic crazy Chaos thing, uh, crazy stuff. And of course, the two Chaos Valkyrie, um, Banish a Light or Dark Special Summon at level 4 helps uh, Turbo Wow into Minerva as quickly as possible to start the crazy milling if your hands are really bad. So, yeah. Say so now on to the more like generic extenders. Uh, see for the deck. Alright, on to the generic extenders. We have, of course, the one Perform of Hell Trick Clown. You mill it, you can special summon it back. The one Destrudo, special summon it back. Banish 7, bring back the snow. Uh, yeah, so these three cards are absolutely nuts. Like, they're just insane to mill and of course for our like generic extender stuff as well uh the danger engine we run a little danger engine one thunderbird one bigfoot one jackalope and one see sushi uh help these two help of course with the rank eight say rank threes uh if you want you can definitely run the Birdman or uh say wolfman in here for your level fours but honestly these are just the best in my opinion so yeah on to the spells on to the spells now we have of course the three solar recharge um it's a draw two and mill, so it basically sets up all your plays. Like, this is like one of the best cards you can probably have, uh, honestly. Along with, of course, the three charges. Charges nuts. Uh, yeah, charges your generic searcher. Of course, charges is like one of the old school style cards. It's still insanely good to this day. Uh, yeah. That's of course, another search, we have Chaos Space, this searches out uh, your JD uh, first off, and of course it can search all your Chaos stuff off, so yeah, 3 Chaos Space, super cool, has a cool little callback ability where you can uh, target one of your Banished Lights and Darks that, and place on the bottom of your deck, then you draw one card, so it's a little cool for like the recycling uh, uh, ability, but yeah. But now on to the more generic spells, I would say. Uh, we do run two Pot of, uh, say pot of Avarices, we already do have the Solar Recharge. Uh, and the Charger Light Brigade for searching and uh, drawing. So having Pot of Avarice to recycle all your graveyard stuff and then drawing too often, that's pretty good because honestly, it's it's a graveyard deck, base deck. We will always have at least five or more uh, cards in uh, monsters in the grave. Now for a generic power spells, of course, we have the one Monster Reborn. Sorry, hit the camera there. Uh, and then of course, Monster Reborn 2. Uh, Foolish Burial to get a free summon off and wolf. Reasoning, of course, because we're milling, we want to get stuff going. And then, of course, we have the one road of the search out our Raiden uh, for consistency for searching him out. So, yeah, that is it for the main. We're going to swing on into the extra deck. Starting with the extra deck, of course, we have the Synchros. We have, of course, one FA Dawn Dragster. Insane card can easily make him a Psy, uh, a Psy, a Psy, Psy Frame Lord Omega. Insane card can loop him constantly, so that's always good. He's insanely. Of course, we have the problematic card right now, Caterpillar Magical Dragon. We don't use him in certain decks, but he's still a million five, basically, from the deck of the graveyard. And Wolf triggers off his send, so why not? Then, of course, we have the generic Boral Sword, uh, say Boral Load Savage Dragon for your starting board, so yeah. 
Now onto the links, of course, we have the one Curious. Never make her because you're mostly going to go into Selene mostly, but Curious is still there. She comes up in niche situations, so oh, plus the Light Sword name, why not? Cure, uh, Selene's insane because we have tons of spells, and also we can bring back our Luminos like crazy. Sarajuja to fix, say, fix really bad hands. So remember when Sarajuja was a problem? Uh, not no more. You barely see him anymore. Uh, then, of course, oh, of course, we have the one Apollosa for our starting board. So yeah, now we're going to go on to the Exceeds. Then on to the Exceeds, of course we have one Levier, this brings back your Banished cards, sets up more plays. Uh, of course we have the Hope Harbinger, Spell Negates, nothing too crazy there. Cicada King, we can easily make him, free Monster Negate. Uh, Dante, he can mill, so why not? Uh, Zeus, because we have lots of Exceeds, we can easily make Zeus and just blow up the board. One Zombie Vampire, because Zombie Vampire is an insane card, it mills from the deck and then you can special summon one of those cards, so honestly in uh sane from each player and then of course we have the one uh, minerva as well to round out our extra deck but yeah this has been the updated uh light sworn deck profile nothing really changed there's nothing been really crazy for light swarms really coming out lately uh it's kind of just the same old same old uh mill combo go crazy have fun with light swarms type of vibe that the deck gives off so it's still super cool deck super fun deck and it's super nostalgic like light swarms from the back in the old days was super cool like uh, like i love playing against old Life Swarms player even played it back in the day so yeah but thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment and sub subscribe like always and thank you to everyone who say th say wish me a speedy recovery on you know the nasty covid that's been going around but yeah but fully recovered i got my negative test uh, like a day ago so i'm going to this locals this weekend and gonna be taking heroes so look forward to hero deck profile on monday most likely but thank you guys for watching and until my next video stay safe and stay healthy as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace